Here is an example of non-horizontal projectile motion. So a soccer ball is kicked at 20 meters per second at an angle of 30 degrees to the ground. How high does it go and how far does it go? So we're always going to start the same way, which is with a picture. So I'm launching at 20 meters per second at 30 degrees. This is my V initial. I know that there is a V initial X, which is V initial times the cosine of 30 degrees, because this is, X is the side that's adjacent to the angle that I know. And V zero is 20 meters per second times cosine of 30 degrees. And so V zero X is going to be 17.3 meters per second. I also have an initial Y component. So I've got V initial Y and this is equal to V zero times the sine of 30 degrees. So this is going to be 20 meters per second times the sine of 30 degrees and this is 10 meters per second. So I'm going to start to do, um, I'm going to continue on my drawing. As far as we know, it lands, oops, sorry, at the same altitude at which it was launched. Okay. And so when I do my variable list, I know my horizontal, I've got three, I've got X, I've got VX, and I already know that that is 17.3 meters per second, and time I'm going to need to calculate. My vertical, initially I know that my Y, or my delta Y is equal to zero because I'm landing at the same height at which I'm leaving. My V zero Y is 10 meters per second, when delta y is equal to zero, this is only when delta y is equal to zero, my final speed when I land on the ground is, or final y speed is the exact opposite of my initial y speed. A is gravity and that's minus 10 meters per second per second and T is something I need to find. So I, um, how far does it go is what I'll do first. And so I need to find the time and I find that from V Y is equal to V initial Y plus A Y T. I'm going to solve for T. So I've got V Y minus V zero Y over A is equal to T. That was just my algebraic manipulation on this equation. And now I'm going to plug in. I've got minus 10 meters per second, minus, oh, sorry, minus my VY initial, which is 10 meters per second, over minus 10 meters per second per second. So this negative sign is from the physics. This negative sign is from algebra. And when I calculate this, I believe that I get two seconds. So now that I know my time, so this is something I've figured out. My X is just going to be VX times T. So that's 17.3 meters per second times two seconds. And I think that gives me 34.6 meters, but I just did that in my head, so that might be wrong. Okay, so that is how far does it go. Now to find how high it goes, I'm only going to take half a journey because half a journey is when I am at delta Y max. So I need to do a new vertical. So in the vertical, I now know that my delta Y is what I'm looking for. My V initial is still the same, but here's an important change. My V Y 
is going to be zero because at the top of the path I've stopped moving upwards in the y direction and I'm turning around and moving downwards. A is still minus 10 meters per second per second and T is going to be exactly half what it is before because I'm only doing half the journey. So T is one second. So I can find dy from the displacement equation. That's v0 yt plus one half a y t squared. And so that is going to be 10 meters per second times one second plus one half minus 10 meters per second per second times one second squared. And so that's 10 meters. Um, I've got plus a negative five um, meters per second per second times one second squared which is one and so I've got 10 minus five is five meters. So this is my delta y max is how high it goes. This problem is a little bit more challenging. So a quarterback throws the football to a receiver who is 31.5 meters down the field. If the football is thrown at an initial angle of 40 degrees to the ground, at what initial speed must the ball be thrown? What is the ball's highest point during its flight? So we're still non-horizontal, but now we're gonna be finding a different variable. And so as before, I'm going to start with a picture So I am going up. My initial launch angle is 40 degrees. I know that I have a V0. I have V0x is V0 times cosine of 40 degrees. And then I also have a V0y that is V0 sine of 40 degrees. That's what the trig tells us. Um, I also know that my delta x is 31.5 meters. So as before, I'm going to list my variables. So in the horizontal direction, I've got x is 31.5 meters. I've got v's, vx is v0 cosine of 40. I'm looking for a v0. And then t, I don't know in the vertical. Again, I'm going to think about the entire trip. I'm landing at the same altitude at which I left, and so my delta y is zero. I know v zero y is going to be v zero sine of 40 degrees, and my v final in the y direction is going to be minus v zero sine 40, because again, when, I, when delta y is zero, my trip is symmetric. Um, and then A is going to be minus 10 meters per second per second, and T again is something I'm looking for. Okay, so I, um, T is usually where I start, and so I'm going to start with T. And so we can start with our basic idea that VY is V0Y plus a y t and I'm going to solve for t so I've got v y minus v zero y divided by a y equals t and so my v y is minus v zero sine of 40 degrees um, so that negative sign is because at the end the ball is going downwards and then this negative sign is from the algebra. In order to solve for t, I had to subtract v0y to the left side. This is v0 sine of 40 degrees, and then divided by minus, oops, sorry, too many 40s, minus 10 meters per second per second, and that is equal to t. 
and collecting terms, this is going to be minus 2v0 sine of 40 degrees over minus 10 meters per second per second, and that is equal to t. And then I can do one more thing. The negatives cancel out. 2 divided by 10 is puts 5 on the bottom. So I've got t is equal to v0 sine of 40 degrees over 5. And I'm going to drop units. So what does that get me? Well, I can now take the t from the y direction and plug it into t in the x direction. So I'm going to go to purple. So in the x direction, I know that um, t is equal to x over vx. And so this is going to be 31.5 meters over v0 cosine of 40 degrees. That's t. So I can put t from the horizontal and set it equal to t from the vertical. That will get rid of one variable, which is t. And now I will only have one equation, one variable. So we will do that one in blue. Okay, so t from the horizontal is 31.5 over v0 cosine of 40 degrees. And t from my vertical is equal to v0 sine of 40 degrees over 5. So I need to solve for v0 because that is the, uh, that is what the question asked for. And so I'm going to cross multiply. So I've got 5 times 31.5 is equal to v0 squared times the sine of 40 times the cosine of 40 degrees. Um, and so v0 is equal to the square root of 5 times 31.5 divided by sine of 40 times cosine of 40. And so v0 is equal to um, 17.8 meters per second. Um, remember, I don't have my HP calculator, and so that may be off. Um, I'm using a different calculator than I hate. OK. Um, so that is the first thing. At what initial speed must the ball be thrown? And then what is the ball's highest point during its flight? So now I can redo my vertical. Mm, different color. Let's see. We'll do maroon. And so my vertical. So now delta y is what I'm looking for. I know that my v0y is v0 sine 40 degrees, which is 17.8 meters per second times sine of 40 degrees. And I think